Uh, emergency press conference. I'm gonna go on a rant right now. It's been a rough few days here in this SVLV news. Nick going to Stuttgart, congratulations. I think that's a very good move for you. Stuttgart's playing in Champions League, Pokal, Bundesliga, very high caliber matches. So he should be getting a lot of playing time to expose his talent. Nick, thank you for your service. News coming out this morning, Aaron Dinci signed with Freiburg. And as with Nick, Ole gave these players playing time just a little bit too late and we're paying for it now. Fritz is claiming they tried very hard to keep him here. I don't think that's true. I think that's actually a cover up. In other news, Mitch, he hasn't signed yet either. And I'm going to assume Freiburg or Augsburg could pick him up. So what does this team look like next year? Agu on the right? Yes, give him more playing time and he'll progress into a good right wing. Dukes yelling at either Jinma or Arun or Emanuelson down the center. If we can't score with this group now, something has to change. And to me, it's crazy to see other teams like Wolfsburg, Haas Foul, proactively making these coaching changes when they see that they're on a decline. Yet we just look at them and say, everything is fine. Everything is fine. So many questions to be answered. The current and future squad, do we really think Ole is the right person for this team in the future or for next season? Yes, we had a good run in January and February, but in hindsight, we drew against RB Leipzig. We beat Bayern. We beat Freiburg because they were in a dry spell as well. And so we played mediocre football against vulnerable teams. Also, is beating Bayern a thing now? They're almost in third place. Now, if I were Fritz, I'd look at a coaching change now. So theoretically, he could build his own team throughout the summer with those six Euros that we have. Or I guess if we're still in the first league, you can wait until the summer and make that change and build it over the summer. At any rate, with the current status of the club and the investment, as much as I'd love to like Ole, I think your time on the Osterdijk is done. So Ole, thank you for your service. Let me know what you guys think. Cheers.